Hi, this is Andrew. Oh, hi, Carrie. Um, so, uh, I am in the middle of recording uh, a short YouTube series. Well, in my second episode in the short YouTube series. It's called Dear Judy Scott. Have you ever gotten, um, like, what's the, what's the word for that? Trolled? Like, has someone ever, like, made a, a comment that seemed really mean or out of order on a social media platform that you... Oh. Oh. <gasps> Wait, she sent you a private message? <gasps> Wait, did she tell you that? Right, right. And I'll think about it, and I'll get back to you about it later. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. Hi, Judy. Are you there? I'm not really able to hear you if you are there, because that's, this is a one-way medium. And that's kind of what this series is about. Um, we're, we're in a world where we communicate with each other in these kind of indirect ways. That was Carrie on the phone, who I work with, who I've worked with for 20 years. We're friends. And she was telling me this story about how she liked something on Facebook. It was about a carriage ride. But a high school friend then sent her an angry face emoticon. Which, that seems really crazy. Like, I don't understand, like, kind of impersonal responses. I had made a video on my YouTube channel. It's a new series that I've been doing called Weekly Report with Andrew or something like that. And, um, and I was talking about a weekend with my family. And I was also talking about um, this book, In Remembrance of Lost Time by Marcel Pru. And he talks about this cookie, and my niece had bought that cookie, and my, I talked about my childhood, and so here's the comment that Judy Scott's off. I don't know Judy Scott's. Um, oops. I keep on doing this. I keep forgetting that I'm talking to you, Judy Scott's. I am talking to you, but I also think that you're a fiction. I don't know if you're real. And in part, all of us who decide to put our voice out here on a platform like this are a fiction, right? Like we are a made, a crafted thing that's partial and it only refracts a little bit of reality. Um, so when I do that, I don't mean disrespect, but it does feel a little disrespectful when I suddenly I'm talking about you as if you're an object. Um, okay, so this is what Judy Scott's wrote in response to mine. I'm watching and wondering why a man of his age would want to share with the whole world his personal business. Right off, I can think of two reasons. Clearly, he has a need to brag and talk about himself, to make himself look and feel better. This most likely stems either from his low self-esteem or his narcissism. Healthy, mature adults usually don't do that. Teenagers do, but they grow out of it. People who do that are probably stuck emotionally in their adolescence. So... On this week's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the idea of um, of theoretical people. <laughs> Does Judy Scott even exist? I don't know. Um, I've, I've searched for her. I went to her profile and I talked about that last week. So then I went ahead and looked for her just using Google. Um, and the thing is there are thousands, maybe millions, of people who are named Judy Scott. Um, but there are no people that you can Google search, you know, bracketed in the right way, who come up in response to Judy Scott's white pages. And so I used white pages because that seemed like a good, like, modifier. It's an informational way of finding people and their address and their phone number and all those things, but no Judy Scott's. If you keep scrolling down a little bit, you find out that there that there are some Judy Scottses. They're not in the white pages, and there's like Judith Scott, and and it gets you know they get weaker and weaker in terms of the returns. So maybe Judy Scott doesn't exist. I then searched on the on the social media networks, and I did find um, about six, maybe seven possible Judy Scotts, but even those were a little weird because some of them were just called Scotts Judy, like. Maybe they were, like, a person whose name is Scott, who um, is a little bit patriarchal, and so thinks that he owns his girlfriend named Judy. So it's Scott's Judy. That's a possibility. There's no apostrophe, but, you know, that's just a way of reading it. Scott's Judy 
um, could actually mean, you know, last name, first name, but there's also no comma there. So, so I will quickly tell the story of another troller. So I have another series on my YouTube called Little Songs, and it's just a bunch of little songs that I record on my voice notes. Stupid little songs. Also, I'd like to be a famous rock and roll star sometimes. I don't actually want to be a famous rock and roll star, but like I, like many of you, thought that that would be super cool early in life. I don't feel that way anymore. Like it's it's it doesn't go away though all the way that longing. Longing is the wrong word. Fantasy. That fantasy doesn't go all the way away. So I started making these stupid little songs, and then. I don't know what possessed me. I was on like SoundCloud and I was noticing how many people were releasing albums on SoundCloud and I was like, why don't I release an album? I've got all these little songs. And what I like more than like my fantasy about being a famous rock star or a pop star is the idea of having albums because I am really into like curating and archiving and naming. So I started going through all my little songs and turning them into albums. And then I decided to release them on YouTube too, which, which is all like just kind of a tongue in cheek thing. Um, and my brother Daniel like confronted me about it this, this year when I was visiting. And he, he said, no, Andy, I'm not gonna help you with your little songs. They're not really that good. And a lot of people on the internet are making little songs now. I was like, oh, he's probably actually right. I'm probably not that good at making little songs. But maybe it stung even more because somebody um, responded to one of my songs. I, I'm not positive which song it was, but I think it's one of my favorites. It's called, um, What Would It Be Like to Live in a World Without Donkeys? And that there's not much more to the song than that question. But there's a tuba, and I love tubas. Um, but this person, whoever they were, um, commented, and it was like, this is the worst, oh, I'm not gonna say this is the worst thing I've ever heard. And it's funny and mean, and it's not a person that I know, but then he goes on to say, is it true that you teach university students? I think that they should ask for their money back. Well, that was a mean little twist at the end. It, it is also a little bit funny. You know, like, it would, be, it would be funny if he was my brother. But he's not my brother. But the great thing about that person is that they really exist. Like, I went to their profile. I looked at what he, he had, like, two videos that he had taped at a protest. And it was clear that, like, we didn't have much in common, that we wouldn't be friends if we met. And he also... Like, if he makes little songs, he doesn't record them, and he definitely doesn't post them on the internet, and he thought it was ridiculous. I thought his, his insult was a little off track, because I don't teach university students about making little songs. Um, but maybe some of them want their money back. I think he was, you know, like, just trying to be mean. Which, but he was also funny about it. So maybe he just, like, was cracking himself up. A lot of people do that. Judy is not trying to crack herself up. It's just, that comment is not to encourage anybody to laugh. To laugh at or to laugh with. So when you get accused of something by a stranger, like one of the first things you sort of ask is, like, who is this stranger? So because I can't find any evidence of Judy Scott, and I haven't, I've invited you already in the last episode, Judy, to answer me. I'd rather, like, stop the series. I don't know if I'll stop the series, but, like, at least I'll, like, change the direction of the series. I'd rather have you come onto YouTube with me and talk to me about like what was in your mind when you made that comment. Like, where did that come from? Because I do think that like a mutual understanding is a goal to work toward. Not agreement, but just mutual understanding. Like a mutual respect for each other, um, a, a place where you've at least like try to listen to each other and try to get to a place where you understand a little bit of where the other person's coming from. I just think that that's always a good idea. It's not always possible, but since you engaged me in conversation, I thought I'd talk back. So next um, episode, we're going to talk about uh, what it's like to imagine someone from afar. And the next episode, we're going to talk about what it's like to be accused. 
and what are the possible options of responding to accusers. And I don't know what the next episode's going to have. A real long brainstormed list of what we might talk about in the future, Judy Scott's. Um, but, uh, but for now, I'm just going to thank you all for being a part of this. And be sure to subscribe. Thank you.